Okay, hey, how's it going? It's Joel, Mark here. We're gonna show you week five of progression. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do ring rows. So these are Olympic rings. Not everybody has these, but we're gonna show you what the exercise is, and then we're gonna show you how you can adapt that. So Mark here is gonna move into the position of a ring row. He gets down, and as you can see, nice flat back here, heels together. He's gonna to row up, and then row back down. That's where we want to see you at. So you can see here, nice and straight, up he comes, and back down. Good. Okay, so progression for this, Mark's going to show us. Change his angle here so that you can see he's at a different angle here, and when he comes up, and back down. He's going to progress down further, bring his legs down, again up, back down, and then until he's full, first plank here, body comes up, neutral spine, head up, good. Feet together. So that's the first one. Now not everybody has Olympic rings, so what we've done here is we've made ourselves some Olympic rings so we can practice some rows and later on we're going to do dips. The first one is going to be the row. So the same exercise that Mark just did on these Olympic rings, we're going to do on these rows. So again, he comes out. Nice and flat, straight, heels together, and up he comes. Boom. Solid. Right on. Okay, it looks good. So that's your first exercise. Your next exercise is going to be the plank. And we're going to move over here a little bit so that you can see that, so we're not interrupted with the rings here. So Mark's going to get down in the plank position. Now, as you see, neutral spine, good positioning. This is the plank position. Front plank. From the side plank, he'll bring his left arm up. Again, you'll notice that his hips are up, feet together, straight through. Okay, and down to front plank. Now he's going to go the other way, so the other arm's going to come up, and all that's changed here is just a different direction. Again, heels together, nice and flat through here, and he's keeping his hips up. Okay, good, right on. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go through the ball slam here. As you can see, Mark's got a good stance here. He's solid here, shoulder width apart. He's ready to come down to do the ball slam. So he brings the arms up and down. He catches. He drops his hips. And down. He's on his heels. Neutral spine. So that's where you want to be. Solid. How are you going to program this is you're going to do three sets, and each set you're going to do ten repetitions. So you'll start off, ring dips, and you go to plank, then ball slam. And that's your exercise for week five. So, run portion. Right. So, our run portion for our week five is going to be up to 30 minutes. We're progressing up to 30 minutes. It's now five minutes of running, one minute of walking. So you need to start pacing yourself so you can continue on that distance. Now 30 minutes is going to sneak up quick on you. So good luck. We'll see you later. Okay, so this is how we're going to make the uh, rings for you if you don't have Olympic rings that we have here. So this is just a, what's called a sash cord. You can use any kind of rope, but it's about 18 feet long and how I measured, I go 6, 12, 18 roughly. So you can probably get away with 12 feet depending on what you're going to use. So what we're going to do here is we're going to rig this up we bring it over an object that's uh, sturdy. Just pull it in like this. So it's solid. You can check it out. It's solid. So from here, Mark's going to grab a side. All we're going to do is we're going to drop it up. So this is about the length that we want to be at. Anywhere in here, you can make yourself a knot. Just inside, through the hole. Try to dress it off so they're, they're similar in, in length. So, so all we've done is we've made a little knot here, we've got some rings here. Okay, so that's how you make that.